This is the new Falcon Heavy Block 5. Just a while ago, the second flight of Falcon Heavy was launched from Cape Canaveral. I'm not gonna lie, it looked great. However, not everyone gets to understand the changes to this beast of rockets between the first launch and this second one. If you think the first launch was majestic with the mannequin, hear me out, because there are quite a few differences this time. First of all, this rocket is brand new. It's not just a simple upgrade from last year's Falcon Heavy, thanks to its much more powerful Block 5 boosters. Many people don't know this, but the side boosters on Falcon Heavy last year were refurbished boosters from 2016. SpaceX has a great way of improving its rockets over the years, and Falcon Eye, the older brother of Falcon Heavy, is a great example of that. The first version of Falcon Eye, version 1.0, has only flown five times. Its payloads were all less than a thousand kilograms, and its orbit was limited to the low Earth orbit. Version 1.1 was a significant upgrade to version 1.0 to increase its thrust by 60% and changed the engine configuration as well. Moving on to Falcon Eye Full Thrust, or Block 3 unofficially, its cryogenic cooling of propellant allows higher fuel density and 17% higher thrust. SpaceX also achieved its first successful landing here. After the transitional Falcon Eye Block 4, we finally arrived at Falcon Eye Block 5, the final version of Falcon Eye that has great reusability, reliability, and 10% higher thrust. So what has Falcon Heavy got to do with this? Falcon Heavy is basically two regular Falcon Eye boosters strapped onto one fortified center booster. That's why as Falcon Eye improves, capability of Falcon Heavy improves as well. Last year, during Falcon Heavy's maiden launch, that was in the era of Falcon Eye full thrust. But this latest launch is performed with three Block 5 boosters, making this Falcon Heavy significantly more powerful than the previous one. This not only is an upgrade in capability, it's reviving our dreams of getting back to the moon. I know there's no plan for Falcon Heavy to be human rating certified yet, but hear me out, because I think Falcon Heavy eventually will be certified. Currently, there's no rocket powerful enough to send us to the moon and back. In order to do so, you need two components, a powerful rocket and a powerful spacecraft. A rocket that does all the heavy lifting and a powerful spacecraft that can return our astronauts safely. NASA plans to do this with the Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft, but as revealed a while ago, NASA's confidence of Space Launch System is dwindling and has already cut its budget for 2020. Therefore, we're entering into a dynamic situation where Falcon Heavy is ready and will improve over the years in capability, and Space Launch System keeps getting delayed. It doesn't look good for Space Launch System, especially with its $1 billion per launch price tag. With doubts hanging over Space Launch System, other alternatives become urgently needed. The most intuitive candidate comes to mind is Delta IV Heavy since it has already launched a test Orion spacecraft in 2014. But as it turns out, after internal discussions, what NASA realized is that Falcon Heavy is a better candidate for the launch because of its higher capability. Long story short, it brings us to today. Falcon Heavy Block 5 with proper modifications plus the help from the interim cryogenic propulsion stage has the capability to launch the Orion spacecraft and the service module to a translunar orbit headed to the moon, and hence helping us get to the moon faster. Therefore, by any stretch of imagination, this is not an ordinary launch. Sure, it sent Arabsat 6A to its intended orbit, something that can possibly be done by Falcon I, but on top of that, every mission that's performed by Falcon Heavy will get us one step closer to the moon. One step closer to where we once were and where we will be for the years to come.